Hello everyone and welcome back to new Inazuma 11 Ghost Strikers video on my channel. The Ragnarok Ghost Strikers tournament is continuing after you got the overlength part against Skipper yesterday. Today it's the losers quarterfinals. We're going into the last eight I believe. Our opponent today is yet another Nemesis Domain member. Um, we've kind of been going a road of just facing other clan members. But I mean, hey, that's a cool way to establish a position amongst the top players in that clan. Today our opponent is Bam Sushi. There he is. And let's dive right into the match. Bam is coming at us with a chain formation. To be honest, I was unsure if he was going to play chain or no mesh, but I guess that answers it. Oh, I see Tara in the middle. That's something I do like to see. There goes our usual Hakuryu Mikshi. You know the drill already. Long pass into Hakuryu Mikshi. There goes his Thorpe. Let's see, we cannot play that. Okay. Ah, oh, we lost the ball. Oh, shit. And the useless shot from Kitaki. Uh, this is really unlucky. There goes Saru. I believe he doesn't know that this Mixture Max will make the ball pass him. Ah, he did get it though. There goes our Gamma Mixture Max. There goes Kina cause Mix Max 2, a lot of long shot Mix Maxes, we really gotta pay attention to, to that. <laughs> and there goes Sakuma, running into Kitaki here. So, that is one long shot less. Let's see what he'll come at us with next. Oh, there's Torb, nice, okay, that's what I was kinda trying to get him to go. I was trying to get Torb on him, but we even got him on with the auto attack as Keshin does break through invincibility. So now we're just punting the ball forward to Akuryu. Let's see what Kazumaru is he playing. Well, we can't see that yet, but... I'll just go into the dribbling here, I know we win, we're equal. He's not steering Tyra, he's not doing the Tomero auto defense. And with two quick shots, we can force him into the own goal to score the 1-0 with a combination play of Hakuryu and Dande. 1-0. Oh, and there's a disconnect. Bum's connection do be unstable, but we'll just... We'll just restart the match. The 1 0 will be kept in our head. The match will just start over. So it's all fine. We're probably gonna wait until the 8th minute just to have the same conditions. Going back into the random search, bomb should be to any second now. And let's hope it doesn't crash again. If it does, that ain't too bad. There goes the rematch. Bum's kickoff, we're just gonna stall around until the 8th minute, probably. Oh, 
You were just waiting. Doesn't really matter, we're just gonna wait until the eighth minute. Just some stalling, getting the ball to move around so it doesn't get too boring. And there goes the start of the match. It's 1 0 in our heads, we gotta keep that in mind. So we are at an advantage at this point. Ah, uh, there goes Saru's dribbling, that's unlucky. I did want to try to get. Gamma's Mixi Max off first, let's just hope we can out Mixi his Saru with Gamma. Oh, we can, okay. That's nice, that's nice. So we just gotta see if we can attack somehow here. Yeah, we got the ball, okay, that's good. There goes us hitting Kazumaru, Tyra, and maybe even Torp. So that should charge us full until we face the next defender if we do hit all three. So I just got time and space. Oh no, we didn't hit Torp actually, but that's fine. No, there's Tyra. Uh, Tyra does stop us. I wanted to pass it to Hakuryu, who would have been pretty free. But whatever. Hakuryu is actually not in Mixed Sheet yet, as you can obviously see. So we may even have it a little bit easier to give him a good start into the game. Oh, there goes his Laven. He's just dashing back. Oh, but there's Hakuryu. Oh, and we were able to outstall his Hero time, but we can't get that off. But the chance is not done yet. Now it might be though. The pass misses to a slight tackling, but Dante gets the ball back. His defender should not be charged yet. Oh, but there's this Mixamax Kinako stopping us in our path. Uh, unlucky, however, Torp should be charged pretty soon. So we will be able to stop a chain initiate. There goes Cesaru. Let's just try to defend him. Oh, he's even. Oh, he's going for the Torp dribbling on Gamma. Maybe trying to get us down. I don't know if he thinks we'll chain with him. Because, you know, that this Gamma's just basically. Oh, yeah, he's using Torp to get down Gamma. Uh, that is smart, that is a smart strategy, even though I'm not a too big fan of it. There goes his Saru. His Saru is gonna break through now, probably. Let's hope our defender is charged, cause Torp sure is, else I'll just try to get that Torp in, in time. Yeah, there's the Saru. Oh, this... May be pretty dangerous now. There's nothing much we can do about that. Oh, his Gonji isn't charged, okay. And we got the block in even. So that is a chill save, even with shoot break. So no goal for him here. There goes the shoot to break. Korea. And let's see. Oh no, and we actually get slight tackled by Laven here. Oh! Uh, I just passed the ball back for some reason. I'm trying to get the ball up again to Akuryu. Now we got the Mixtramax in, annihilating Kazumaru and his defense Hisatsu, or at least we should. But also going through Laven. Uh, 
And I'm just gonna shoot here because Hakuryu can score on Shinsuke, but we get 3 RNG. 3 RNG most likely is not going to score. He needs 8 to save it. Oh, he got 3 2! He got 3 2! Goal! Hakuryu scores! Let's go! That's such an important goal. 2 0 now. 2-0 total now. Two zero. The first half is almost over, and we still got Hakuryu charge left. Oh, and there's Dante. There is Dante getting the ball from Cannon. Let's just try to straight up push through with Hakuryu. Well, there's that. We get stopped by Tyra. Tyra and Hakuryu are equal, so no pass here. Oh, and we cut the pass to Cannon even, but Shinjami, interesting choice of a midfielder by the way, just cuts our path. There's Cannon and there's probably soon the chain into Gonji. Oh, he's shooting it. He's shooting it centrally. Does he have his offensive midfielder lined up? Because if he doesn't, his forwards will not reach him. Yo, they actually won't. Oh, he does... Oh, he does reach it, but he has Fire Tornado still <laughs> in the move set. So, <laughs> that is gonna save us. Well, <laughs> that is pretty lucky. <laughs> okay. I do approve of that. <laughs> I am gonna take that. That's a dub. That's a dub. Oh, and there's the quick no mash from Gamma and Dante to make it 2 0. Just before half time. Okay, 3 0 now. 3 0. Oh, he still has a chance, maybe. Oh, the ref saves us. We are really lucky in this game. But we still have Gamma and Hakuri, which makes Maxis. Gamas is almost over though, so I'm gonna replace him with Kinako. Uh, you know what, let me replace Kitaki with Tenma, because Hakuryu still has charge left. I... am going to put... No, I'm not gonna put Kirino in. Kirino has to stay aside for this match. Or I'll just... No, you know what, I'll just... I was planning on getting that shoe off, but... Let's just put in Kirino anyways for more stability. Eight body keys, you know the drill. Guard boost, I'll put it on Kirino because... We don't play guard keys and he is chaining anyways, so... Doesn't really matter if we have a better... Middle block, because the block will enable us to save his shots anyways. Charge time boost onto Tenma, it already did a good job in the last matches. And the hero time boost. And then let's get into the second half. There's the switches. We're kicking off. The first thing I am gonna do is make Shmax Kirino right away. There's the Kirino Mixmax. He still has Saru put as a forward. Maybe he's playing body keys and is trying to get a push through with Saru. Would be pretty interesting to see. 
Okay, I passed him away from the Mixumax, and there goes our Kinako Mixumax now. So we got our wing Mixumaxes off. That's pretty good. I saw his Gamma there already. We dodged him though. And now there's Hakuryu. Dribbling against Kazumaru. Oh, and he plays 8 guard and deep jungle Kazumaru. Yeah, he does. Else we would have passed in every case. But against 8 guard and deep jungle Kazumaru, we actually do not pass. There goes his Kirino. He's probably playing the keys over Sane and Kirino then. Interesting choice, but I guess it makes sense when he's playing Chain anyways. But there is Kinako getting a good steal in on the wing. So let's see what we can actually do from that. Oh, he missed Hakuryu! No, but he got Hakuryu in the second try. So, no Mixmix for us. Oh, and there's Tyra trying to get a chain start off using her atomic flare shot, but it fails, and now we're surrounded by Mixmaxes, by Kirino and Torp. No way to escape here. So he does take the ball back, but he does need Tyra to start a chain as of now. He's probably playing Saru Dragon Blaster then. There goes Cash and Torp. Kinda. Cutting in. Oh, and that was a very good hero time. There goes the chain start with Sakuma. I hope Toko's charged. I think Toko can block it right away. Oh, but it doesn't matter as his chains are not charged again. Uh, this match is really in our favor. We are really getting very lucky here. Sadly, that is how the game goes sometimes. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. At least this time, Bomb is clearly not lucky at all. Oh no, what? There goes the pass into the middle. Oh, and Gamma gets the Mixmax off here, actually. Tenma's kinda on charging now, though I want to get Tenma's Mixmax in. I'm not doing too good job at that right now. Oh, but Kinako does beat Gamma always, because he's playing 8 guard, so we're, we have a free pass here. So there is still a chance. We got Kirino and Tenma there. Got the ball onto Kirino. Oh, okay, we got, we got Arthur off actually. That's pretty nice because it means I can attack freely now. And then we're just gonna have Kirino's defensive Hisatsu out. Oh my god, he evaded that. So I used the hero time to get the ball in the out. Obviously, he still is in possession again now. But. Oh. Yeah, there's Saru being bodied. No, and we were almost through with Hakuryu on the right wing, no, on the left wing here. But he activates his hero time to stop us just before we can get the cash and arm shot off. Good defense. However, we can put his hero time away here using Kazumaru, and since Hakuryu just uncharged, if he goes back to his position now, we probably can get a good chain off with Hakuryu. There's Tsunami. There's Kinako. There's the hero time. And there goes the chain start. 189, that is a lot. Let's just hope his Sakuma is not behind Hakuryu already. No, he's in front of it. We pass. Double type advantage. And 136 base is enough for Hakuryu to score on. 209, the maximum defensive power that Shinsuke can reach against double type disadvantage is 199. So that is a goal. Hakuryu, yet another goal. 4-0.
Bum is playing well, but against the combined power of actually solid defending for once and just being very unlucky, he can't do anything. And I do want to say the match is almost over now as it's 4-0 and not much more left to go. But you never know. Well, for now I do know that Toko does make a steal against Cannon here. No, just want to get the ball to Tenma and rush through with him. I believe I saw his defense not being really much charged. Oh, and there's Tenma actually making a steal here as he passed the ball to Tyra. I definitely am gonna take that. So there's Tenma on the attack now. There goes the dribbling with Tenma, obviously passing Kirino, as we already saw before we knocked him over. Let's see if we can score that. No, we can't, I messed up the dash timing, but at least I had three people. So, it's not too wasted. There goes Gamma, but I believe Gamma is equal to Tsunami here. Yeah, he is. So, that is our ball. And I hope we hit Kirino too, because... Then we're pretty free. We do. Oh no, we didn't get through here. But Dante gets the ball back, and that is a free dribbling with Tenma. We pass Kirino, we know that. Hit Sakuma too. Now let's see if we can just go for a Uranus shot here. Bye bye, Mixmax. No, we can't. His Shinsuke is there, but he kick. He kicks it into his own out. Well, that is unlucky, but the ref ends the game. So, that is GG. 4-0 for us. Um, we did get lucky here, but in overall it was a solid win. We defended well against the chains, even though the placement of his forwards and the charging... Did screw bomb up a few times. Then thank you everyone for watching. The next match will be the losers semi-finals already. So stay tuned for the next video and goodbye.